we start okay so first question on your screen So an AP has a property that the sum of first 10 terms is half the sum of next 10 terms. If the second term is 13, then the common difference is the question. Take your time. Do not You don't need to rush through. These questions cannot be solved just like that. So people who are just hitting it without thinking, you are actually wasting your time here. Oh, 47 people have already solved this. That's really surprising. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, so this is something which is, okay. So here was the question. Yes, so it will take some time for you to solve this question. Where is the question? Yeah. So this was the question, right? So let me and I will do yes. So a bigger got canvas to solve now. So what is the question? AP has the property that uh, the sum of oh, sorry. Sorry, sum of the first 10 terms, that means S10. This is sum of first 10 terms. Okay. First 10 terms is half the sum of next 10 terms. Next 10 term will be 10 S20 minus S10. Isn't it? Okay. So S10 is equal to half S20 minus S10. Did you understand this step, guys? All of you? Is this clear? So this is the next 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 10 terms, right? So what do I get? I get S10 is equal to half S20 minus S10 by 2. So that means 3 by 2 S10 is equal to S20 by 2. Now you have to get the formula of S10. What is S10? S10 is 3 by 2 into 10 by 2, right? Into 2A plus 9D. Right? You have to write it fast and then it is half into 20 by 2. That is 10 into 2A plus 19D. I hope this is clear to everyone. Right? Are you following it? So far so good. Bolo, any problem? This is how I am simply writing S10 and S20 now. Okay. So what will this be? So this is 5. So 15 by 2. Let me write it here. So 15 upon 2 into into 2a plus 9d 2a plus 9d is equal to 5 times 2a plus 19d okay and one more relation was given to us second term is 13 what does this mean that means a plus d is 13 a plus d is 13 given right so we have two variables to equation we have to find out d that means we have to eliminate a isn't it so this 5 will be 3 and so hence it will be 6a plus 27d is equal to 4a plus 38d. Okay. And I know a is equal to 13 minus d. Right. Or what you can do, you can simplify more. It is 2a 
and what is this 2a is equal to 11d get this one what sneha what happened sorry sneha can you unmute and say where is 3 by 2 what is 3 by 2 2 went to the yes so i have not mentioned that that you will have to do faster right this 2 will go to this side yep so i'm i will not write all the steps here so 2a is 11 11d so hence a is simply 13 minus d is equal to 11d so 26 minus 2d is equal to 11d so d is equal to 2 right but most of you i think you could not complete this on time so this was the first question guys okay so let's go back to yeah and let me delete this okay now next question okay so here is the first Oh, wow, super fast. In eight, eight nanoseconds, not a not nan, eight milliseconds, you could solve this. My God, this is really surprising. Okay, I took at, at least 45 seconds to solve this one. Anyways, good if you are able to do it. Next. Yeah, someone's mic is on mute. Please put it on mute. Anisha, please put it on mute. This question should have answered should have been answered in three seconds. This question could have been solved in just three seconds. So if you are aware of if you are formula based person, then it will take one thousand years for you. Otherwise, very very less amount of time is needed for this. Good. Most of you have got it correct. That's nice, but time should have been lesser i believe in this case so very easy it is why is it easy is because uh this particular question here 197 94 91 88 none of them are multiples of three okay so this is every number is just one next to multiple of three so it will it will go down and there will be numbers like four one right if you see this is 99 plus one this is 96 plus 1 this is 93 plus 1 so multiples of number multiples of 3 plus 1 so the next term will be minus 2 there will not be any 0 right so after 1 there will be directly minus 2 there will not be any 0 so hence none of these right is that okay understood by all okay clear give me why if all of all of you understood hmm? Okay, very good. Next question, please. Here is the next question. Before that, very good. Aniket. Nice. Who's Nemo? 
again there is someone every time there is someone who's Nemo this guy Nemo Nemo at least you should have put Namo we could have related to you okay next question Take your time, this cannot be solved by just randomly clicking something. Okay, so last five seconds. I hope this was pretty much simple. Yep, very good. Simple, simple problem it was, but still lots of oh, that's oh, so such a why? How many of you could not solve this question? Okay, so. Lots of people could not solve this question. Okay, they go. So if A, B, C be in the arithmetic progression, so delete all. If A, B, C is an arithmetic progression, that means what? 2B is equal to A plus C. Isn't it? Now, what is this term? This term is A plus A plus C minus C. What is this term? A plus plus uh, C plus C minus A and here it is this A plus this C can be written as 2B simply and 2B right yeah that's what so hence you will get it so C gets cancelled and A gets cancelled and this is nothing but 2A into 2C into 4B that's it so 8 and 2, 4 for the 16, so 16, A, B, C. Three line answer. Is it? Okay, now tell me. Understood or not? Everybody got it? Just a minute, guys. Just give me a second. Yeah, sorry guys, I was in some. Okay, so yeah, is this clear to everybody? Tell me. 
yeah the last question so simply you have to do what uh this so a this 2b was b plus c oh sorry a plus c so i wrote that then this 2b again i wrote a plus c and then i clubbed this a plus c as 2b so that gave me 4b here right so that's up okay chalo next question so most of the questions will not require that much of uh, writing okay also good so some shuffling nena okay great next question on your screen guys A and C are same, is it? <clears throat> Very simple question again. You don't need to go to formulas and all that. Without formula, basic knowledge of AP can solve this question. Oh, cool. So most of you have got it. That's nice. And uh, for those who didn't get it, so this is how it has to be. So, how to solve this one? Very, very simple question. Again, so what is to be found out? Common difference, right? What is common difference? Let me delete this one. And, yeah. So, if you see, A2 minus A1 is equal to D. And A3 or A4, A4 minus A2, this is also D a6 minus a5 this is also d right like that keep going 100 100 times again you will get d so add all what will you get you will get s1 minus s2 right is equal to 100 d right so d is equal to s1 minus s2 100 Right, so no formula so far. I haven't used why 50 times there are 100, 100, 100 terms are there. Right, so both are 100, 100, 100, 200 terms were there. So 100 and 100 each. Correct, got it clear, RN. So there will be 100 pairs, and hence the sum d is this much. Did you understand? See, so in this question, did we use any formula? of sum or whatever nth term and all that is this clear to all just give me a clarity why Ashlesha, not clear shall i explain again once again once again see what i'm saying is this is s1 and this is s2 now a2 minus a1 is simply d or what you do is you simply do s1 minus s2 do this s1 minus s2 what will you get you will get a2 minus a1 plus a4 minus a3 plus keep on doing and there will be such 100 pairs 100 such pairs oh i shall like that okay 
I thought, okay, never mind. So this is B, uh, another way of doing it, 100 times. Right? So hence, 100 D is S1 minus S2. So D is S1 minus S2 upon 100. This one. Okay? Next. Hmm, good. So, right. Okay, next question. The sum of n terms of an AP is 2n plus 3n square. Which term of this AP is equal to 299? I hope this was easier. Okay. So let's see. Let's view the distribution. Mm. 25. Oh my god. Only 15. Why? What happened in this? What was the problem? This was a very fairly simple and straightforward formula based time. Why? Okay. Let's see. Why do you take so much of time? So, dekho. Yeah, so this was the question. And, yeah. Now, sum of terms of an AP is this. Which term of AP is equal to 299? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, which term of this AP is equal to 299? Now, uh, so, Sn is equal to 2n plus 3n square. Okay. So, you have to use this Stn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Isn't it? No, you don't need to do all such things. This is straightforward. Tn is equal to Sn minus S minus 1. Isn't it? Have we not discussed this? If Sn is given, Tn is Sn minus Sn minus 1. Yep. So, hence now, so Tn, N is what? N you have to find out. N you have to find out and it is given to be 299 let's say. And what is N? Uh, Sn is 3N square plus 2N and subtract 3N minus 1 whole square minus 2N minus 1. Isn't it? This is 299. You have to just find out N. Isn't it? So hence this is 3N square plus 2N minus 3n square plus 2, 3, just 6n and if you expand it, uh, so minus 3 and minus 2n plus 2, right? You don't even get a quadratic, right? See, 2n, 2n gets cancelled. So what is left? 6x, 6n, so 299 is equal to 6n and minus 1. So 6n is 300. So n is 50. Right? Why Pranav? Haven't we discussed this? That if Sn is given 
and if you are asked to find out Tn, so this will this should be the approach rather than calculating A and D. That will take a long time. I think most of you would have done the same. Okay, right? So this should be understood by all. So how much time did it take? How much time did it take? Hardly. If you know the approach, hardly 30 seconds. So that comes by practice. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to. Okay, so now next question guys, here is the next question on the board. Sum of first 10 terms of an AP is 4 times the sum of first 5 terms of the Oh, there are two two times uh, this this is useless one of the five terms can you you can ignore it has been written two times so four times the sum of first five terms that's it then the ratio of the first term to the common difference is This should be easy, I believe. Most of you should have done this. Formula based direct. Okay. So, uh, hmm. 25 got correct, rest of them not correct. Okay. So, this was the question. Some of us. 10 terms of an AP is 4 times the sum of first 5 terms. So, direct formula will apply. Sum of first 10 terms is how much? Let N, A, D and all that be there. So, sum of first 10 terms is 10 by 2 into 2A plus 9D. Okay? And is 4 times the sum of first 5 terms. So, again, 5 by 2, 2A plus 4D. That's it. So, right? So, there should not be big deal here. So, this is 5. This 5 and this 5 will go. So, this is 2. Only 2 left. So, 2a plus 9d is equal to 4a plus 8d. Okay. So, hence, you will get what? d is equal to 2a. Right? And first term to the common difference. Right? So, the first term is equal to d by 2. Right, so first term is double of the, uh, yeah, so the common difference is double of the first term. So hence the ratio is 1 is to 2. No, it's correct. First term is half of the common difference. Right, so basically first term is what? A and in terms of A, uh, wait a minute. Uh, first term to the common difference. No, it's yeah, D is twice of A. Twice of A, that's correct. Yep, that's correct. Twice of A. So hence, A and 2, 2A. These are the terms. A and D, right? So you have to find A is to D. So A and A is to 2A. So 1 is to 2. Right? So A. So most of you have got confused here, I believe. Hence. Hmm. Next. So hence.
ओके फेर नफ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन बोर्ड गाइस This is a sequence, but it's not our AP. so some bit of knowledge of previous grade will also be there that will be applicable here last 10 seconds okay so let's see uh, still people are not very confident and still this is not that great okay so this one was very very simple so none of the questions will require any big big formula or something like that yeah you don't need to multiply and all it was simply sum of first 100 terms if you didn't notice it sum of first 100 terms it was simply so you see what is this this is nothing but 1 minus 2 1 2 is it or yes and then what this is nothing but this one is 3 minus 4 3 4 right and similarly last one will be 99 minus 100 and 99 plus 100. So all of these are ones minus one. In fact, minus one, minus one, right? So hence, hence what is this? This is nothing but minus one into one plus two plus three plus four. This is not the Gauss's formula. Ananya. So five plus dot dot till hundred. simple this and you know and you know this is 50 50 okay so minus yeah gauss's formula is this s is the the thing which we do in our formula and s is 100 plus 99 plus dot 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 this till 100 and then you sum them up 2s is equal to 101 into 50 One not one time hundred. Sorry, right? So S is fifty fifty. Yeah. Okay. So if you are referring to this, then yes. But yeah. So here, did you understand how to go about it? Most of you would have got panicked by seeing this two over here. But that was the indication. This is where you had to. Once again, see. Once again, I paired them up, all of them. This was the trick. That's it. So if you see one one square minus two square is one minus two one plus two a square minus b square form plus three minus four three plus four likewise all the terms will be and the last term will be ninety nine minus hundred times ninety nine plus hundred right so this is minus one so minus one times one plus two then minus one times three plus four 
then minus 1 times you will get 5 plus 6 and so on and so forth minus 1 times 99 plus 100 right so hence minus 1 common and you will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 100 correct understood by all again we are not using any out of the world formula or something like that okay not even the basic formula which have been which have been which we have been practicing okay so so there is a message in all these questions i hope you are getting it how did you get minus 1 1 minus 2 is how much Aryan 1 square minus 2 square is 1 minus 2 times 1 plus 2 so 1 minus 2 is how much minus 1 right got it hello any difficulty yes no got it very good next question <laughs> mute it mute it mute, mute please Sides of a triangle are in AP. If cosine of one of the angles is 0, then find the sum of the squares of the sine of other two angles. It could have been solved by just taking an example. Very famous Pythagorean triplet and done. Did you guys use that? Hmm. Good. So at least majority of you are getting it correct, but then. Right. So what is what does this mean? What does this mean? If I remove this, what does this mean? One of the angle is zero, meaning what? Cosine of one angle is zero. Yes, three, four, five. You can use that, Monish. Correct. So that means it's a right, right angle triangle. And sides are in AP. So what? Three, four, five. Right. You can do that. Yeah. You can use. But I will show you how to do it through AP method as well. So just in case, if this is a quite competition, what will you do? So sine of one angle is how much? Three by five. So square it. And sine of the other angle is 4 by 5. Square it. You will get 1. The famous one. Hardly 10 seconds. Hardly 10 seconds. But if you wanted to solve it through AP. Then these sides are A minus D. A and A plus D. After ascertaining that this is 90 degrees. Let the sides be A minus D. A, A plus D. Okay. So uh, what is this? So this will obey... A plus D will be the highest. So this is the high hypotenuse. A minus D whole square plus A square. Correct. So this is nothing but A square plus D square. Okay. A square plus D square plus 2AD is equal to A square plus D square minus 2AD plus A square. Okay. So this A square and this A square will go. This D square and this D square will go. So what do I get? I get A square is equal to 4AD. That means A and A will go. So A, A is equal to 4D. Okay. So A plus D is the hypotenuse. 
So the sine sine of the two angles are nothing but a by 4d. Sorry, a by 5d. Oh no, uh, yeah, a by 5d and a minus d is how much? Uh, 3d by 5d. Is it? Sorry, am I? What? Wait a minute. <clears throat> So A is equal to 4D. So the sides are, what are the sides guys? Sides are uh, 4D, 3D, 4D and 5D. So instead of D, so, or instead of 3, 4, 5, I am getting these. So the same, again you will come back to the same thing. Right? So these are, this was the answer. So one is the answer. Right? All of you understood? Give me a thumbs up. Why? Good. So let's close this and go to the next question. Okay. So some shuffling. Okay. So let's go to the next question, guys. So last five seconds, let me see, how did you, so no direct question, I told you, there will be, hmm, mm -hmm. okay, how many of you could solve this? Can you just post your response in the chat? How many of you could solve this? Mira, Nyanesh, Pranav, Shreyas. Four people, 18 people are there. Nandini, okay. Who else? Five people only. And how come 18? There is a reason why I am asking this. Mm -hmm. So, how come there are 18 people there? Okay. So this was, uh, this was intended to be little, you know. Achha, how many of you could not solve it? Let's see. Okay, so obviously this has something to do with AP, right? And A1, A2 is there. So that was the catch. That was the catch. Okay, let's say this is A1, A2, A3 are in AP and let's say the common difference is D. Answer is A. N minus 1, A1, AN. Okay, let's say the common difference is D. Okay, so don't you think D is equal to a2 minus a1 this is the so if you are aware of this basic property of ap you will be able to do this okay so i have to find out this sum so this is what i am doing c d by d multiply this whole d by d 
okay so what will happen can i say 1 by d into take the numerator d inside so what will happen d by a1 a2 d by a2 a3 and so on and so forth d by a n minus 1 a n are you convinced is it okay can i not is it okay understood by all right just multiply divide by d so can i not write this as 1 by d and what is this this d i can write as a2 minus a1 by a1 a2 okay and this second d can be written as a3 minus a2 by a2 a3 do you get some clue here finally a n minus a n minus 1 by a n minus 1 a n right now why did i do this i am now writing here if you see this will become 1 upon d and if you see this one if you break this open what is this this is nothing but uh, 1 by a2 minus 1 by a1 or the other way around other way around 1 by a2 am i right 1 by a2 or oh, sorry a1 minus 1 by a2 correct the second term will be 1 by a2 minus 1 by a3 right so third term will be 1 by a3 minus 1 by a4 likewise it will continue and it will be 1 by a n minus 1 minus 1 by a n isn't it what do we see all getting cancelled except the first and the last term so we are getting 1 upon d correct and what we will be getting a n minus a1 by a1 a n right now what is the relation between a n and a1 a n is simply n minus 1 sorry n minus 1 d okay so a n minus a1 a n minus a1 by n minus 1 is equal to d right so hence or or you can say this is this implies let me write it here because i have small space so i can say 1 by d 1 by d is equal to n minus 1 by a n minus a1 okay now put this here at this location so what will you get you will get n minus 1 by a1 n minus 1 by sorry this one n minus 1 by a n minus a1 into a n minus a1 by a1 a n i am writing this here right i just replaced 1 by d by this relationship so what will happen this will go so n minus 1 by a1 a n bolo did you get it so what was the catch here can you explain again? Yes, I can. So let me do one thing. Where do I explain? I need some bigger space. Where do I do it? No, wait. Okay, so let me do it once again here only. Or So I'll delete all this because I don't have much space here. So I'll delete everything. Once again, Deco. Once again. So what I did was I multiplied and divide this entire thing by D. Why? Because this will become this will become 1 by D into D upon A1, A2 plus D upon A2, A3 plus so on and so forth d upon a n minus 1 a n okay clear this step is okay now replace all the d's can i not replace this this is equal to sorry 1 by d into the first term d can be written as a2 minus a1 by a1 a2 
second term can be written as a3 minus a2 all are d only right by a2 a3 finally a n minus a n minus 1 by a n a n minus 1 right why multiply by d by d so that's what i'm explaining so because i could write this a2 minus a1 so once the d gets in here this d gets in here i can write all these as respective difference of the denominators can you see that a2 minus this d here is a2 minus a1 and this d i am writing as a3 minus a2 and likewise all so what how does it help because now you see this becomes 1 by d into within brackets if you see the first look at this term this is nothing but 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 yes or no if you look at this term this will become 1 by a2 minus 1 upon a3 likewise it will keep on going and this last term will become 1 upon a n minus 1 minus 1 upon a n and if you see these all will get cancelled one by one one by one all will get cancelled and only first term and last term will be left right so what is left 1 by d into and if you take the lcm a n minus a1 by a1 a n this is left yes or no so what is a n minus a1 a n is equal to a1 first term plus n minus 1 d right so a n minus a1 is n minus 1 d right put it here in this what will you get 1 upon d into a n minus a1 i am writing as n minus 1 d divided by a1 a n so this d and this d goes so hence answer is a understood okay very good let's go to very yeah. yeah hmm very good nice hmm okay next AM means arithmetic mean. If A to the power n plus 1 plus B to the power n plus 1 divided by A n plus B n is the AM between A and B, A is not equal to B, then N is equal to what? Yes, it was very easy. Only the only by look and feel it appears to be a little deadly, but otherwise easy. Yes or no? Easy no? How many could do this already? Scam method should be used. Scam method. Scam method is what is scam method? You should have scammed this question. How to do that? Good. Most of you could do that. Yes, you could simply put the values and game over. Okay, so you should have. Yep, so if you put A is equal to if n is equal to 0 works see if you put n equals to 0 it will become a plus b by 1 plus 1 
a plus b by 2 is a m so this is scam method in competition use this method also these are low hanging fruits but for concept if you really have to find out so what is this this is nothing but a n plus 1 let's say if it is a subjective question you never know it can become a subjective question the test could become a subjective test a n plus b n is nothing but a plus b by 2 this is a m right and then multiply both cross multiply so you will get 2 a n plus 1 plus 2 b n plus 1 is equal to a n plus 1 um, and b times a n plus 1 plus a times b n plus 1 plus b n plus 1 right if you do the cross multiplication so this and this can be removed right yes mere bhai faster so i told you how to do this but then you must also know the legitimate way of doing it right that was the explanation i gave that tomorrow if this question is asked in the right what oh by 2 also will be there yeah sorry 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 so by 2 also will be there uh so i can't beat this 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 and this uh, thanks for highlighting so this is two times this and oh no it's, it was correct only why hey you scam me unnecessarily right so it was okay only where was the problem bolo a n times a is a n plus one a n times b is b a n oh sorry not ah uh, this was the issue uh, this i can understand this is sorry yeah. okay now now what so you can cancel this no cancel this two and this right so hence now take a n plus one minus b a n and what uh, is equal to b n a minus b n plus one okay so here I can take a n common and you will get a minus b. Here you will take b n common. Again you will get a minus b. So clearly a is not equal to b so you can cancel these two out. Right. So you will get a by b whole to the power n is 1. Right. So that means this is nothing but a by b whole to the power 0. Right. So hence n is equal to 0. This is a legitimate way of doing it. Okay. So, use of AP. So, both ways you could have tried. Shall Next question. Good one. Nice. Shall Next question, guys. So there are odd number of terms in an AP, the ratio of the sum of the even numbered terms, even numbered terms means second, fourth, sixth, like that.
Okay, so I hope you have solved it. Let me see. Difficult? Oh my god. Wide distribution. Difficult? How many could not? A lot of actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me show you this question. This was again, let's say, let us define the AP first. So what are the APs? AP is A1, sorry, or let's say A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. So there are odd number of terms. So can I say there are, let's say there are 2N plus 1 terms. 2N plus 1 is odd, let's say there are 2N plus 1 terms. So it will go up to A plus 2ND. Am I right? This is the AP. Is this an odd AP? Odd number of terms are there. How many terms are there? 2N plus 1. Correct. Is this, this, this step is clear to everyone? Give me a thumbs up. So these are odd number. 1, 2, 3, 4. Count it. There are 2N plus 1 terms. So odd, odd number of terms. Clear? Yes. Yep. Now, I have to first find out what? Ratio of the sum of the even numbered terms. So even numbered terms are this, 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 like that. And the last one is not even number. This is the odd number term. 2n plus 1s term. Right? So what is the even number? So I'm writing SE is equal to. First term is A plus D. Second term is A plus 3D. And so on and so forth. And last term is A plus how many? Uh, 2n minus 1D. Am I right? Am I right? How many terms are there in even? How many terms are these? How many terms? Can you tell me? So in 2n plus 1, how many terms will be even terms? Even numbered terms. So 2, 4, 6, 8, how many? No. n number are even number. n. n are even terms and n plus 1 are odd terms. So let's say if there are 101 terms in an AP, 50 will be even and 51 will be odd. Getting it? Right? 50 will be even terms, even numbered terms. And 51 will be odd numbered term, odd numbered terms. Are you are you okay with this statement? Clear? If there are 101 terms in an AP, so one first term, third term, fifth term, till 100 first term, these are 50 in numbers. 51, sorry, 51 in numbers. And second, fourth, sixth, till 100 is 15 number. Got it? So hence we have n terms here. So what is SE? By the definition, first term is a plus d. Number of terms is n. So can, can't you write it is n by 2 into twice a. What is twice a? 2a plus 2d. Right? This is the twice of first term plus how many terms are there? n minus n. So n minus 1 into common difference. What is the common difference between these? What is the common difference in the first AP? This AP? Common difference is, can you tell me common difference 2D, right? So this is my SE. This is SE. So let's simplify it a bit. So it is N by 2 and 2A plus 2D plus 2ND minus 2D. Okay. So this minus 2D plus 2D will go and there will be one 2 which will get cancelled. So it is N A plus ND. Am I right? Bolo. A plus N, A plus N, D, right? This is for even number of terms. Let's see odd. So odd terms are S, O is odd terms are A plus A plus 2D plus A plus 4D plus so on and so forth. A plus 2N, D. How many terms? N plus 1 terms are there. Correct? So SO is nothing but N plus 1 terms by 2 twice A plus N plus 1 terms minus 1 times D. Isn't it? Hence it is N plus 1 by 2. Here you'll get 2A plus ND. Right? Did I make some mistake? 2A plus... Oh, sorry. This is... Yeah, it's correct only. But I have to get, um, oh, yes, yes, that was a mistake, correct. So, 
so yeah it should be 2d here right yeah so hence what is it this is n plus 1 by 2 and 2 2 will get cancelled so again you will get a plus nd right is it okay so what was the, what was the question question was to find out se by so so below what will that be n by so n into a plus nd divided by this was so i see se sorry and so is n plus 1 a plus nd so this two will go c okay yes yes you could have you could have eliminated these two this is not possible why can you tell me why why is this not possible this is also not possible that's not long if you really i made it you know if you have to do very fast yes so here these are eliminated so you could you have choices between these two okay so anyways chalo let's see okay so the last question of the evening guys last question Okay. <laughs> when Anish says easy, people are not able to get it. Okay, good. So easy for Anish. Chalo. This was super super duper easy. The, again, you have to just work it out. Okay, so there go. What is this P term? A one to this thing. Directly write what P by two into two A one plus P minus 1 D right divided by Q by 2 into 2A1 plus Q minus 1 D right is equal to P square by Q square right so this Q and this Q will go this P and this P will go this 2 and this 2 will also go so hence cross multiply you'll get Q times 2A1 plus Q times P minus 1 D is equal to P times 2a1 plus q minus 1d so lots of terms are going to be cancelled okay so this is 2a1q plus q square what happened anish something is there 6sq how ah, you can do that as well yep so i'm just i'm just doing this now let me complete and then we'll talk so q square pd 
so q square p d then q square minus q square d is equal to 2 p a1 sorry why is this 2 where is this 2 no sorry what yeah 2 is there 2 is there 2 is there sorry 2 p a1 plus p i am missing something out here what is missing here 2 p times i did, i made a mistake wait a minute uh 2 a q q p minus 1 and yeah that no, no no mistake correct so this is p q why did i get q square here Sir, why is it q into p minus 1 d ah why oh i had already done that on and again multiplied so that, that's what the mistake is so i had already done that i already multiplied by q thanks for highlighting so now in he, in this case i have not done so hence it is 2 a q 1 2 a 1 q sorry plus q p d minus q d right here it will be 2 a 1 p plus pqd and minus pd so pqd pqd will go so hence if you take comments 2a1 q minus p is equal to d common d common and it will be q minus p right so q minus p q minus p will go so d is equal to 2, 2a1 okay now what you need to find out 6th and 21st term, 6th term is a1 plus 5d, 21st term is a1 plus 20d, now d is 2a1, so put 2a1, so a1, a1 plus 10a1 and a1 plus 40a1, so hence 11 by 41, right, this is one method, what Anish is doing is, that's another method, is this method clear to everyone? So you don't need to find a and d. You will not be able to find a and d slash. You will only get a ratio between a and d. Right. So 11 by 41. Now what Anish is saying is also right. So did you follow this method? This is clear to everyone. So simply add. Use the formula of sum of APs. Right. What Anish did is this. That uh, if you have to find out sixth term. Right. Where is it? Sixth term. So sixth term is nothing but s6 minus s5 right s6 minus s5 and 21st term is s20 minus s21 right this is what oh, sorry ulda s uh, 21st term is s21 minus s20 this is what you did anish is it so hence he put p is equal to but then how do you find out S6 minus S5 divided by S21 minus S20? You have to do this. Now tell me how did you find this out? S6 minus S5 divided by S21 minus S20. So you'll only get, you can only get S6 by S21. So I assume that the fraction is in least form. So how does it help? How does it help? As in S6 minus S5 as divided by S21 minus S20 you have to do. SP is SP is okay like that. You are saying okay. You are saying SP divided by SQ is equal to P square by Q square like that. And hence you are saying SP is equal to this is what you did right? Q square SP is equal to P square SQ. Correct? Isn't it? Right? So hence, you found out, but then that will give you again. Okay, so you are saying um, S21 by S or S6 by S21 is equal to 6 square. That is 36 by 441. This is what you are saying? This is what you are saying? So you will get S6 by S21 from here. But how do you get T6 by T21? That will that is the question. T6, I assume fraction is least, so sum of power terms is P squared. No, that 
that's an assumption that's in one case it worked here but it did not work everywhere it worked here that because you assumed that one that that case but i think you should go like this okay anyways because the time is short so let me wrap it up we'll discuss maybe in the class okay so here is the final final oh so lots of people hmm. but anyways the tally doesn't change much good so nana is first pranav smriti shreyas and who else it's hidden daksh i believe then aden then who is this monish alisha sneha chk people are clubbing up or what all of you are together ha <laughs> ah, great nice good so nice yeah keep it up i hope you like the questions the questions were not that straight forward they will not be asked in your board exam so don't worry so, but they will definitely be asked in various comparative exams okay so fair enough see you again next week bye bye take care stay safe good night